<laughs> do this for me. I have to ask you a favor. I need you to do one thing for me. I want you to take every single thing, every, every memory, every ounce of double or nothing that you thought you knew, and I want you to yeet it from your brain. Erase it. Delete it. Delete all of it. It never happened. Because for the first time this entire season, we have finally seen a market crash. When the most feared promo hit and dropped an insane amount of nasty cards into the game and rippled a shockwave through the whole Madden economy. And similar to real life, that just means that the rich prosper, baby. <gasps> Woo! I'm Jeff Bezos in this bitch. I'm Elon Musk. I don't speak to you peasants. I'll speak to you poor people. I got 1.3 million coins and a crashed economy. So not only is my team already going to be more cracked, because we're sitting at 1.3 mil, but it's like double, quadruple, triple cracked. For example, that Von Bell that I spent 60, 70K on, he's 30K. Not to mention, with most fear, there's so many new, super solid, good cards in the game. Look at this, an 84 overall free safety for 14,000 coins. Even better, look at this. 9,400 coins for an 88 speed wide receiver who's an 84 overall. Yeah, we're gonna have an amazing episode. Uh, and prices have changed so much. Number one, I hope if you guys are if you guys are watching Double or Nothing and it's like inspiring you to build a team with a certain coin count, this is one of the best times to do it. And it's only gonna get better as the Thanksgiving promo drops, as the Christmas promo drops. It always tanks the market. So let's get to work building an insane team with 1.3 million coins. And if we can build this squad and get a win today. Next episode, we'll have 2.6 million. We're getting to the end of Double or Nothing where it gets pretty incredible. And a huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your mobile device. You can explore millions of champion combinations as you take on raid bosses, dungeons, campaign battles, and even PvP arena battle. And to showcase my favorite part of Raid, I want to show you my top three favorite champions of all time. Number one is my Dark Elf Kale. He was my starter champion. We've been through a lot of battles together. Number two is Ray, also a Dark Elf. She's a legendary attack champion. On top of looking so cool, she's incredibly powerful. And number three, the coolest champion design I've ever seen is the legendary support champion Cardiel. He's so dope. And right now, Raid is running an awesome trick-or-treat campaign for Halloween. You can win real life and in-game prizes, and it's all free. All you need is your Raid player ID. Then head to trickortreat.playerium.com. Again, click my link in the description to start playing Raid or scan my QR code on screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $20. That's a free epic champion Rector Draft, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard and all the treasure will be waiting for you right here. Raid, thanks for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest. Halfback, I do have a lot of very good options. There's Matt Forte, there's the Walter Payton, but this Walter Payton is 415,000 coins. Derrick Henry's 220,000. That's basically half. And I actually think Derrick Henry is better. That might be an unpopular opinion, but it's 3 AP for Walter Payton's ability. Derrick Henry can pretty much be a god with just Bruiser, which is only 1 AP on him. So I'm still in the Derrick Henry camp here. 225,000 coins for Derrick Henry. That's a big spend, but it's also literally one of the best halfbacks in the game. 90 speed, 88 excel, 92 truck, 91 break tackle is really my favorite part. Break tackle is one of the best abilities in this game. It's how you just casually break tackles without doing anything. Now, I know this is probably not the world's most popular opinion, but the quarterback position is so overrated. Especially in Madden 23, you can literally get away with anything at quarterback. And I can get an 89 insanely good Joe Montana for 60K. Now, granted, I am the money man. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger and we're going to take the 89 overall Joe Shiesty. I just want Joe Shiesty, so I'm going Joe Shiesty. Next player, I really really want is the awesome version of Krishna Koye. Not the super god Krishna Koye, but the 88 overall Krishna Koye, who is still an incredible fullback. 86 speed, awesome blocking. Next, I want a tight end with tight end apprentice in case I want to give corner routes. And there's actually a really good option for that. If I'm doing tight end, we're taking Donald Parham. Look at how cheap the best tight end in the game is. 21,000 coins for Donald Parham. He's 6'8", 240, 85 speed. Not a blocking tight end, but dude, this guy's a beast. East. And the auction house right now is just flooded with insane wide receivers for dirt cheap. You could torch anybody in man coverage literally on food stamps, bro. It's crazy. 
87 Hollywood. 30K, 9-0 speed. He also has 90 deep route run, so he's still a good deep route runner. My only concern with Hollywood is fumbling. 38 strength, he's tiny. I mean, if you're throwing toe taps, out of bounds, corner outs, stuff like that, you'll be fine. Dude, even Randy Moss, who forever, Randy Moss was like one of the best wide receivers in the game for so long. He was like 300K for forever. Look at this Randy Moss, 89 overall, 61K. 87 speed, 88 jumpy, six foot four. And that's our wide receiver one. Now, granted, we did just spend a lot of coins on a lot of offensive weapons. So we're not gonna go crazy on the offensive line. And my last receiver is gonna be a budget beast as well, which is the 85 overall Dante Hall. Now, if you just wanna spend a little bit more and get 87 Dante Hall, actually, he's only 15K more. Fuck it, we're going 87 Dante Hall. Take a look at this. Ah, you bitch. How much do I gotta pay now? Ah, uh, 5K more. Look at 87 Dante Hall. 89 speed. Five foot eight. He's still small. He's got solid route runs. He's a little bit heavier than Hollywood. So we got Hollywood and Dante Hall, two insane speed wide receivers. And Randy Moss was still really fast and six foot four. And before I forget, I will pick up a backup tight end. And we'll go with Mike Gesicki. We can still get such a good offensive line, though. 86 Colton Miller is only 21,000 coins. I think 87 overall is the offensive line point where I can put post up. So I actually want an 87 left guard and an 87 center. And I realized I just made a mistake because I bought Joe Thune left guard. He's an 86. So I did just waste 20,000 coins. But I'm the shmoney man right now. Like, I'm built like that. Same with center. Now, the good news about center you don't have to go get an 87 because tyler shatley has post up built in so i'll go shatley so now my center my left guard and hopefully my right guard can all have post up then we'll put bruiser on derrick henry probably an ability on parham and uh offensively we'll be able to run the ball like a fucking maniac so we need an 87 at right guard at well 87 quinn miners 35,000 coins and at right tackle we'll take tristan Wirfs for 23,000. that's our entire offense built out Let's generate the best lineup and look at our offense right now. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. We spent a little over half on the offense, but holy shit, did it pay off. Look at this offense. Oh, it's so sick. I fucking love this offense, dude, actually. Let's look at some of our players on offense real quick. This show, Joe Scheiste is actually insanely good. This came out when the game came out and he's still got just like incredibly competitive stats so that's good henry we already saw henry he's ridiculous randy moss versus hollywood okay so hollywood's got three speed on him but randy moss has got him in just about everything else said hollywood is pretty much a one trick pony on being super fast but he's damn good at it and obviously on defense we've got some work to do let's start building the defense now listen i'll be the first to tell you that out of position players this year this early is really stupid but for some reason they decided to drop some out of position players really early this year and it did grant us one insane card and this is going to be our user for today's episode this is 88 overall cordero patterson only 60,000 coins with 88 speed 87 excel his man and zone coverages are way too good i have no idea why this dude's got 90 zone but none of that really matters because i'm going to be using him all that really matters is he's 88 speed 87 excel six foot two now let's talk corners one of my favorite corners was like so ridiculously cheap 84 overall Derek. Stingley. 11,000 coins. That's insanely cheap. Look at those stats. <laughs> he's so good. He's a little small. He's six foot only, but I think he'll get the job done. Legends promo also gifted us a very good, very cheap wide receiver. It's Anus oh! Williams. Yes, I know it's pronounced Aeneas, but I'm going to pronounce it Anus, so I really don't care what you have to say. 86 overall, Anus Williams. 87 speed, 87 XL. It's a little small as well. And I do want to spend relatively big on an awesome corner, and that corner I'm going to get is 88 overall Revis Island. 88 speed, 87 Excel. He's got incredible stats all across the board. And who doesn't want the Rel Revis? Not to mention he's got Acrobat baked in for much cheaper AP. And that's such a good ability. Free safety, we have an incredible budget player. From the most feared promo, 87 overall CJ Gardner Johnson. 88, 89. He would make a really good corner too if you really wanted to. 31,000 coins. He's so good, dude. Now, additionally, I do need a true strong safety since Patterson is is going to be my nickel strong safety, aka my user middle linebacker. I really like this Harrison Smith card. He actually would make a very good user as well. I just think Patterson's a little bit quicker. So defensively, we've got corners and safeties. We have no linebackers or D tackles. We got 320K left. For D tackle, I'm going to get this Quinn and Williams. 86 overall. I can give him inside stuff. That's really all you need for your D tackle is inside stuff. And our backup D tackle can be Vita Vea because I love Vita Vea. I talk about this dude a lot, but having baked in edge threat 
that for only 40k is incredible. 87 overall Chase Young is going to be our left end. Now, there's no right ends that I can get that are relatively cheap who have edge threat, but there is a linebacker I can get who I love, who gets edge threat, and I'll send him off the edge on the opposite side of Chase Young. That's 89 overall Lawrence Taylor, the best linebacker to ever play the game, maybe the best defensive player to ever play the game. 6'3", 237, 85 speed, black shed power moves, finesse are insane, incredible edge rusher. I'm putting edge threat on him, and I'm sending him off the right side. I do still need a right end. I just care a little bit less because Lawrence Taylor is really going to be my guy for that. Let's just pick up the cheapest 86 there is. You know what? This quitty pay is actually pretty good for 22k. I'm totally fine with that. Middle linebacker is important, but just not nearly as important as it used to be for me. I'm just going to take Demario Davis. Solid all around stats. Cheap. And I've got 130k left. Ooh, let's get a kicker. Let's get a kicker. I was just about to say I'm going to go big on a left outside linebacker, but I don't have a kicker yet. There's only two kickers in the game who get focus kicker, and that's Cade York and Justin Reed. However, Justin Reed kicker is actually a pretty damn good tackler on your kicker turn team. I've talked about this a lot in Wheel of Mutt. Just because you can get kick return on so no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. It's not a single Justin Reed up. I'll take Cade York then. He does get focus kicker and he's dirt cheap too. So right now we're an 86 overall. We have no MLB two. We have no left outside linebacker. I can't. It won't let me quick sell this stupid Ted Hendricks. So he's stuck on this team, but whatever. Patterson's the starting user. Harrison's Smith, the backup, Gardner Johnson at free safety. This team's fucking sick. Let me give Cade York his ability before I forget. I'm gonna go Zen Kicker. Let's get an MLB 2 because we're just, we got too much bread to sit here with a bummy MLB 2. Jordan Brooks, oh my god, that's an insane whoa, 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 snipe. Let's go! Wait, that's a nasty, oh my god, wait a minute. Dude, he's a fucking beast. 87 hit power, 88 block shed. We just got an 87 overall middle linebacker. Damn. Alright, now let's get a nasty left outside linebacker. I don't know who yet. The best left outside linebackers in this game is Anthony Barr. He's only 43k so I could go spend more coins on something else if I wanted. He's 87 speed 85 excel, 86 block shit. he's also 6 foot 5. Whoa, this is dirt cheap for Sidney Jones. Wait, holy shit did I get that? Oh, let's go! I was kind of just randomly looking at positions to upgrade. Holy shit this Sidney Jones is a monster corner. He's 87 speed, 86 excel. His man and zone coverages are incredible and he's 6 foot. It's basically just a slight upgrade to Derek Stingley. We're at 87? Oh my god, let's go. Let's work on abilities. So offensively, number one guaranteed ability guy is gonna be Derrick Henry. Freight train, no question. His fourth ability slot has three of the best abilities in the game, so it is hard to choose. Now, Tank, I do like, but if you play a good player, good players know to cut stick against the Derrick Henry. That's why I like to run Bruiser, just in case we go up against a sweater. We should have enough AP just to go Bruiser, reach for it, Derrick Henry. That's all we need. Joe Burrow, I'm gonna give him dots. Identifier, one of my all-time favorite abilities. Love to see their user. This is perfect for Joe Shiesty. Randy Moss, I'm gonna give deep out elite. I'm not gonna go double me on Randy, though, because I'm gonna go double me on Donald Parham. Donald Parham comes baked in with literally double me and deep out elite. It's almost like they knew. Now, defense abilities. Lawrence Taylor, 3 AP for edge threat. I'm gonna give him unstoppable force. My user, Patterson, I am gonna give him an X factor, but no abilities. I can activate Zone Hawk just by picking one person off. So that's why I want it on him. Same goes for Gardner Johnson. I don't think there's any ability I really want to give him. Yeah, nothing I'm crazy about. I'd be shocked if he doesn't get an interception. We'll go Zone Hawk on Gardner Johnson. Quinnen Williams needs inside stuff, and that's it. Chase Young comes with edge threat for 3 AP. <laughs> I'm going to go tip drill Sidney Jones. I never use tip drill, but we're just going to get weird today. All right, boys. Literally the best team we've ever built. I mean, that is obvious, but with the market crash, it's even more insane. 87-0, 60. We got a focus kicker. Let's go have a good game. Derrick Henry, Lawrence Taylor, Joe Burrow. Look at that team. What do you got? Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck you. He's got my whole squad, but better. He even had Revis. What a dickhead. <laughs> oh, you're going to get picked off. You keep doing that. This is literally perfect. Go Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor was flying on him, dude. Oh, wow. Nice catch. Does he run stretch? Bro, if he runs stretch, it's just me. Oh, it's stretch right. Okay, still though. Big hit. Ooh, okay. We slowed him down. Got to use your Jordan Brooks. Ooh, I don't like this. Having to go 4-3 sucks. Third and three. I'm there! Oh! <laughs> That's why I don't want Jordan Brooks as my user. Come on! Come on! Yes! Better 
as a pick six, baby! I knew he'd panic. I knew he'd panic. They always do. Come on, baby. Patterson, that was a good pickup right there. No, dude. Wait, no, this is awesome. This is awesome. I wanted the Super Bowl to be on the finale, and I had to get one rage quit for that to be the case, right? Because now I'm in the playoffs. This is the wild card. Then it's the NFC Championship, whatever. Then it's the Super Bowl. For anyone confused, it's no longer wild card divisional NFC Super Bowl. There's only two playoff games until the Super Bowl. I don't know why they did it. I think it's stupid, but whatever. Let's go! Big rage quit. There's our top three. He's got LT, Fields, and T Sizzle. This is a worse team than the last guy. But the last guy kind of tilted like a motherfucker, so maybe we're all right. Middle. <sighs> nice ball. There she is. There she is. Oh, perfect. Oh, he run the ball again? He's got big balls. Oh, my God. I... Ooh. I didn't realize that was a read option. Stretch? We're there. Are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at this game, huh? No shot! Okay, thank you. Oh, that Tomlinson's a monster. I think he passes. <sighs> nice play. Guys running two clock? Are you fucking me? You're a little bitch, actually. I just realized. Stuffed. Mine! Run that two clock bullshit! Oh, I'm gonna house this! It's Gardner Johnson, baby! What'd I tell you about him? Let's go! Pick six in the divisional. Guy milk six minutes to throw a pick six. I like his read options, though. They're fire. Derrick Henry! Finally got to see some offense from my team. He might be back in read option, but I'm gonna stuff it if he is. And look, what do you know? Gardner Johnson, zone hawk. I told you guys he'd be getting one. We're in there. Dude, this Ladanian Tomlinson is slippery. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, this is one of my favorite momentums. This momentum lets you see your opponent's intended pass target. When they gear up to throw, it shows a little exclamation mark on them. It's pretty nasty. Oh, no more chew clock, huh? Interesting, interesting. It's almost like you feel the pressure of the game now. Half back, half back, half back. Come on. Oh, I suck right now. Man coverage. Let's see how it does. I'm on 11. I'm there, though. I'm there, though. Get up! Oh! Anus Williams! Dude, he almost gave him the anus special. Nothing! Lawrence Taylor! Fucking monster. Lawrence Taylor came in so fast. Dude, he's, there's no way he's used to someone coming on him that fast. Oh, my gosh. Nickel is working once again. Because he can't run fucking... Oh, what a play! I don't know who that was, but that was, that was fucking sick. Well, you gotta credit this guy. He's a smart football player. Let's keep it up, boys. Of fucking course. Definitely the guy to do this right here. Oh my fucking god, I touched it. This is ball. I totally thought he got that clean. Didn't it look like I hit it first? Hey, I made a point of wanting to run the ball effectively. And we're gonna start out hot here. I don't even know what side this is going to. Those are not the best blocks in the world. All right, third and seven. He's still user D-lining, but Hollywood is so open, I have to throw this. Hold up, hold up D-line, hold up D-line. There he is, look at Hollywood. 90 speed on fourth and seven. Woo! See, now if I was a dick, I'd turn shoe clock on. Well, I'm in field goal range, and a field goal just puts me in a great position here, so if that's what we gotta do, I'll do it. Derrick Henry breaks the first tackle, as always. <laughs> This is daddy's credit card syndrome, bro. He's actually a user D tackle. Like, he's not doing anything. But man coverage, press, best team in the game. Ah! <laughs> I went into that thinking I have focus kicker. But I don't. I have zen kicker. Oh my god, I literally said if I miss a... F I don't want to fucking talk about that. Five wide, okay. Maybe a whip route. Mine! Your ass! Your ass! Let's go! Jordan Brooks with the INT this time. Okay, so I think Hollywood over there on the whip route is like crazy open. It is. There we go. That's how you beat man, baby. Come on, switch on, switch on, switch on. You know you want to. <gasps> <laughs> he's the smallest dude in the league! And he just did that shit! I bet he regrets shooting the clock now because he's not going to have enough time to win this game. I assume this is man once again. It is. Oh, but he's guarding it. Oh, still got it. <laughs> Keep it up, defense. Dude, he was really effective when he was running read option. But he doesn't really have the clock to run that anymore. He's got nothing open. He can't even throw it. Oh, he wants to throw to 83. Oh, it's a whip. Sorry, bud. Clamped. Oh! I'm gonna... 
I tried to jump it, though. I got greedy. I should have just swatted. This is the formation he panicked on last time. Oh, I like that play. Yep. Hey, I, I fulfilled my responsibility. Push the running back inside. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, good, good throw. You got to get down there. Halfback, halfback, halfback. You see that? He threw halfback, too. You could see the little thing light up. Who am I manned up on? 10? Mine. Get up! Oh, oh no! Get there, get there, get there! Get him in! Yes, yes! We can goal line stand again. We got him last time. Ah, uh, right side or left. I know it's stretch. Right up the middle. Patterson, we're there! It's a fake jet? Oh my god, it's a pass! <sighs> Completely faked me out with that user playmaker. Damn, hell of a play. Seven point ball game. Slip screen? What is this? Mine. Gardner, oh, house it, wait a minute. Holy fuck, if I house this? I should have pitched that back, bro. If I house that, it's a two possession game. Does he onside again? This game ain't over. I'm gonna go Randy Moss on the whip. Randy Moss. All my wide receivers put in work, dude. Oh, he covered the whip. Thank God we did par him there. Oh, he switched off, you're a little bitch. That's why you get ran over, and that's why I run it in. Let's go, Parham. That's a 20,000 coin tight end right there. 22 to nine. Slant Randy Moss. One, two, Randy. <sighs> nice play. Nice play. Can't throw half back. Oh, that's a pick. <gasps> my teammate. My teammate just swatted the interception away from me. Uh, I don't think he throws half back here. Mm! Lawrence Taylor, two sacks, five tackles. He has to convert here. Oh, 11's kind of open. Nope, he's not. Anus Williams! You love the anus, baby. Go! <laughs> I don't know what he did with his lineman. It looked like his lineman might have been able to make that play. He fucked it up. I think Parham gets this too. Make it 30 to 9. One, two. Ah! Shit, never mind. Regardless of everything I've said, I want to say GG to my opponent. We move on to the NFC Championship. 28 to 9. Really was a good game. Really was a close game. Our defense, that just seems to be my motto in Madden. It's just my defense fully fucking carries. Joe Burrow, really? He threw four completed passes, nine attempts. But he did have two touchdowns. Justin Fields was trying everything he could out there, but couldn't make it work. Kind of just like the Chicago Bears in real life. Tomlinson was really solid, dude. If he had stuck to that read option the whole game, I think I would have lost. And honestly, I didn't do much of Derrick Henry, but he was also running full screamer man blitzes. So I had to do the whip route bullshit. I hate doing it, but it's just how you beat this stuff. Thank you all for your patience. I love you. You guys are studs. And I'll see you when we got big boy bands. 2.6 million coins to spend on one single team and one player carried over all right you guys are studs thanks so much for watching as always i'll see you in the next video peace